Hi everyone, uh, today I want to introduce a camera system designed for pixelating 3D games. Uh, Kiriter 3D pixel camera is truly amazing as it not only saves you time but also uh, constantly pixelates your game, creating a, a smooth visual experience when moving the camera. The pixel perfect rendering and smoothness work for orthographic mode. Uh, this asset setup is really simple and it offers a range of features for you to take advantage of. Uh, for instance, uh, your game is rendered at the target pixel art resolution, resulting in a significant performance boost. We will explore other features uh, later on. A special thanks to the developer for allowing me to experiment and demonstrate how this assets work. Uh, plus, you can grab this assets now at a 50% discount. I have imported the Creator 3D Pixel Camera. Uh, depending on your project's render pipeline, import the built-in or URP file. Now let's get started. I have a scene ready with a controller and I want to pixelate it. Simply add the pixelated camera to the same game object as your camera. Then drag the game render texture to your camera's output texture. Add the obscillated display prefab uh, to your scene. And if you intended to use Unity's pointer events, drag the script pointer events next to the pixelated camera script. The pixel camera references the main camera. If you want pixel perfect movement, uh, enable pixel perfect. So pixel camera will smooth out movements and jittering caused by pixel perfection. You can control how far the camera is from the target and adjust the zoom options. With this assist, uh, you can't move the camera directly. Instead, you control where the camera looks by moving the target and adjusting the distance from it. You can set the target to a transform and drag the player into the target slot. Also, the target mode offers a vector tree option that you can control from the script. And the final part of this script is pixelation resolution. You can set it manually or sync the height or width as you prefer. Click refresh in editor to see the effect after making changes. That's it, uh, we have set up the assets and achieved pixelation. One amazing feature is its ability to handle resolution and aspect ratio changes automatically, maintaining a perfect and consistent look. For the final part of the video, I wanted to implement this with the Azure Nature Assets. Uh, fortunately, I purchased the Azure Nature Assets on a sale a while ago. Uh, I implemented the same process for Azure Nature and the result is beautiful.
If you are looking to speed up development time and achieve a pixelated look for your 3D game, uh, don't miss out on this asset, uh, it comes with the excellent support. Thanks for watching, be sure to check out our other tips and tutorials and hit the subscribe button for the future videos. See you next time.